The Mass Comm Department at St. Cloud State University has been one of the best at molding today's young journalists. And today for our behind the scenes series, we're going to go inside Stewart Hall to UTVS to show you what it takes to put on a live newscast. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to UTBS News. Tonight at 5, I'm Brett Mencine. And I'm Danielle Maroney. Thank you for joining us on this chilly Thursday. St. Cloud State's student-run television station has been preparing future journalists for a career after college. The big businesses out there are using the same equipment that we have here, so we prepare um, using, you know, the Grass Valley's equipment. That's what they use at the big stations. So when we graduate, we're ready to just, you know, take on the job and do it. Every Monday through Friday, the students not only put the work in the classroom, but prepare for two live newscasts in the evening. Um, our producers will come in at 8.30 in the morning, and then everyone else will arrive at 9.30, and we, that's when we have our morning meeting and gather all the information for the day and kind of get everyone on the same page before we all disperse. Throughout the day, the anchors, reporters, and producers are busy writing scripts and filming stories to fill out the rundown. They'll put together basically like a three-minute block on their own. The weather, the meteorologists will put, put together about another three-minute block on their own. And then our producers are the ones who write just all the news-related stories. And getting feedback from one another on how to do their job better. That's what we do here. We teach each other. That's how UTVS is able to survive. As showtime approaches, the production team takes their places. The director of the newscast, video operator, technical director here, graphic operator over there using the Chiron. Before it's time for lights, camera, and action. Three, Three two, camera two, two one. Take two. A missing Sock Rapids woman has been found. 33-year-old Megan Schmelz has been missing since Monday. The students say there's a fine line between balancing classroom and the newsroom work, but the end result is well worth it. It's really difficult sometimes to be a student and being a part of UTV as it's time consuming. We're not talking about an eight hour day in television. Once the newscast is over, I have to spend time on homework. So balancing that is, it's pretty tough. Reporting from St. Cloud, Alex Wykowski, WJON News.